All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you, as always, for taking time out of your day to check the videos out. I appreciate all the support you show the channel. We have a very interesting leak to go over and cover in this video, and I'm going to be sure to put in this video's title that this leak seems too good to be true. And I wholeheartedly believe that, but that's not going to stop me from doing a little bit of dreaming here. And I just want to run this by you because we have been following the rumors regarding some type of Metal Gear Solid remake that has apparently been in the works. We've heard all different types of rumors from all different types of sources. And as of right now, there's no proof that this exists. And there are a lot of people who fully believe that it's not real. It's not happening. And I completely understand that. I will say, though, that if there is any truth to this, if there really is anything to all these rumors we've been hearing about some type of PlayStation 5 Metal Gear Solid remake, it's likely that we will be hearing about it in the not too distant future because, I mean, you can only hear about this for so long without anything being announced until it's like, okay, I guess it's just not a real thing. But we are looking at the Gaming Leaks and Rumors Reddit here where we have the individual Frank Jaeger 58 041 saying Metal Gear Solid Remake is true and releasing as a PlayStation VR 2 launch title. So as I said, this seems too good to be true and I'm, I'm not going to believe it until I see it. But this is just something that, again, it kind of makes me feel like, man, it would be incredible if Sony were to pull this off. But they start by saying, not much I can say without someone at risk, nor do I have online credibility posting this on a throwaway account. Now, that right there is why we need to be very, very skeptical of anything we read here and why it's more likely that it's just not a real thing. However, it is worth noting that on occasion, there are posts like this that pop up on, you know, forums like this where everybody just kind of writes it off and says, yeah, no, this is made up. This is fake, you know, nice troll. And then they actually turn out to be true. Doesn't happen too often, but when it does, people are usually quite surprised. So they go on to say Blue Point was originally at the helm, but is now handed off to another support studio. Sony wants this to be the next benchmark for VR games across all platforms. Can be played fully without VR as a standalone remake. One of the first examples of a AAA title that can be experienced in both VR and non-VR that PlayStation wants to accomplish. Now, this to me does line up with what Sony has said. We know that this is one of Sony's goals with PlayStation VR 2 exclusives. They want these games to be playable without the headset. They want to be sure that most of the games that are coming from their studios or their partners, they are not just locked to the headset this was a significant change that Sony wanted to make with PlayStation VR 2 compared to how they handled PlayStation VR. And this makes a lot of sense because Sony, they have limited resources. They have a limited amount of developers. And if they can kind of extract the best of both worlds here, um, you know, that is probably going to be ideal for the PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2. And I think players in general, because I will say that if this does somehow turn out to be true and this is why maybe the Metal Gear Solid remake took a little bit longer than anticipated and why these rumors kind of dragged on. It's because they're making it fully playable on PlayStation VR 2. I mean, a lot of people I think would be upset if they found out that it was locked to PSVR 2, that they couldn't experience this remake on a PlayStation 5 if they ended up getting one. They would need a PS5 and PSVR 2 to experience it. So that would make sense like if this is real it would make complete sense to me that it's also playable on the ps5 which is how i would want to experience it as well um, and hopefully psvr2 i hope to get that headset but they go on to give us some details here they say fully interactable environments to ground the player in metal gear solid adaptive triggers and haptic feedback will be utilized to an extreme amount almost every item and set piece in the game is crafted around it Inventory system for the original game, raising your left wrist for things like medicine, cigarettes, etc., and your right wrist for weaponry. Things like night vision, thermal goggles, gas mask, and cardboard box will be accurately represented in VR. So, I mean, see, this is where, like, it just sounds so cool, you know, imagining playing Metal Gear Solid Remake, whipping out the cardboard box in VR. You know, you have the 
first person visual. It sounds pretty awesome. Uh, they continue by saying Psycho Mantis fight is slightly revamped for a VR experience, almost identical in non VR, but the controller port switch is scrapped. I do not know if it'll be the statue solution by default or if something new is planned. And they say here, and this is the part we want to pay attention to and why I'm partly why I'm covering this. They claim that this is going to be revealed in Q2 of 2022. So what this is basically saying is that it's going to, the reveal is going to happen alongside PSVR 2. And that means we are very close to this being revealed if this happens to be real. Now, there's no doubt that PlayStation VR 2 is going to have a standalone reveal. This is something Sony is going to have to do. And we know that they're going to have to have a significant amount of software to show off. I mean, we have to understand that Sony is very serious about PlayStation VR, and this is not just like a side thing they're doing. They want this to be very successful. They also understand, though, that it's not going to reach the same you know, heights as PS5 sales and whatnot. But if you think about it, if there's any game that Sony could you know, reveal alongside their next gen VR headset that would just make people lose it, it would be this, I think. So, you know, if this is real and it's going to be revealed, it's going to happen at some type of an event that's happening in Q2. Uh, they say Q4 2022 release as a launch title. See, this is where like I'm I'm starting to think like I, I just don't know that I can buy into this. It just seems way too good to be true here. Uh, you know, if I am to believe this post and this leaker, what they're telling me is that by the end of this year, not only will I have PlayStation VR 2, but I will be able to play the long awaited, you know, highly anticipated Metal Gear Solid remake on my PlayStation VR 2 and my PS5. It sounds too good to be true. It really does. But, but we do also have to acknowledge that yes, Sony seemingly is gearing up to launch PlayStation VR 2 by the end of this year. And when this platform launches or when this product launches, they're going to be releasing a bunch of games alongside of it as well. And we also know that, you know, Q4 of this year for Sony in particular, we don't know what they have planned. I mean, there was rumors that they're planning to release The Last of Us 1 remake for PS5. But outside of that, we don't know. God of War Ragnarok is likely coming before Q4. So yeah, I mean, it, there is a pretty decent window there. But he ends the post by saying, again, to be transparent, there's no reason to believe anything here. But I've been told direct details from someone who is very close to the project. From what I've heard, it sounds like a new leap slash standard for VR. And that's the entirety of the post. And if you go down to some of the comments that people were leaving, one that stood out to me in particular was an individual, it's a YouTuber, who I think occasionally gives out some inside information on PlayStation. He's known as Nate the Hate. He recently said that the Metal Gear Solid remake is real. And he also heard that it was originally being done by Bluepoint, but then it was moved over to another developer. And, and this is where I really have to wonder if there is truth to this, you know, who is the developer that is now handling it? I almost think maybe Bluepoint focused on the remake itself. Like again, just humoring this and assuming it's real, maybe Bluepoint games focused on the actual remaking of Metal Gear Solid itself. And then when the remake portion was finished by Bluepoint, they handed it off to maybe Fire Sprite or another studio that is really good with VR. And they are now, you know, focused on getting it compatible with PlayStation VR and taking advantage of it. That's just a, you know, random thought I'm having here. There's probably no truth to any of this. And I, I just, I want this to be true. It sounds too good to be true. Therefore, I'm going to assume it's made up, but just something I had to run by you guys here because there is no doubt that Sony is going to have a significant buildup, you know, to the release of PlayStation VR 2. Sony is going to have games that have, you know, been in development for quite some time now that are going to be ready for the launch of this thing. And they're going to have to show it off and reveal it soon. And, you know, the thing that, also makes sense with this post that you know to me does sound believable is they're putting an emphasis on sony wanting if this is real to 
put an emphasis on this is the new standard, the new benchmark for what's possible with VR. And yeah, I mean, that would be a crazy way to kind of come out of the gate with something like PSVR 2, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm not gonna assume this is true. I'm not gonna assume it's real. I'm just going to assume that this was somebody who was bored and made this up, but uh, nonetheless, it would be very cool if somehow, some way it turned out to be true. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Be sure to leave your thoughts on this down below. I'm gonna be very interested to hear what you guys have to say. And be sure to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification icon, and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.